This is Dina from the Marks Group, and today we're going to talk about how to create reports in Zoho CRM based on the new way that uh, Zoho has redefined and redesigned reports. So when you're on the home page, the first thing you're going to do is go to re Reports tab. And then we're going to go to Create Report. And then Zoho now is going to ask you to select your primary module. So the primary module is the one you want to create the report for. Um, so the example they give here is you want to see all contacts and deals added in the last month. So you would select contacts as the primary module. We're going to do a slight variation on that, is that we're going to look at all uh, contacts with deals and just look at a report of that. So again, because you have contacts that have deals and contacts that don't have deals, we are going to choose contacts as our primary module. Continue. And then now in the new setup, you have select related modules. You can use this green um, plus sign and choose a parent module, or you can choose this, use this blue check mark and choose a child module. In the case here of the deals, if we were to choose a um, new parent module, you could see that contacts has now moved down, and now we have a parent module here. And then you can see what your choices are. Now your choices here are all related to what the, ch the contact is going to be tied to at the parent level. And that will be either a company or the user. And you can choose one or the other of these. We are not going to choose one of those for now, but I just wanted to clarify that. I could trash that. And then if I do the plus, then I see a lot more options here. And these options all have to do with all of the places that the shot that the contacts it appears in a is related to a related list um, in another module. And in this case, we're going to choose deals. And then you can see here we have something new here, which is choose relation type. Inclusive shows all contacts created with or without deals, or exclusive show only contacts created with deals alone. Now, as I mentioned, my ultimate goal is to produce a report of contacts that have deals, but for right now, we're going to choose the inclusive so we can learn a little bit more about how to work with reports. So I'm going to choose um, inclusive and click done. If I wanted to, I can continue to go. In this case, I'm going to see like any of the activities, things like that, that are tied um, with the uh, with the um, with the deals, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to keep it simple for right now and do contacts and the deals um, as the child module. Then we're going to click continue, and now you'll see that the interface here is a lot different than it used to be. And one of the nice things here is that you can actually get a preview of the report as you're creating it. Uh, and then um, from there you can run it and you'll see. So the first thing we want to do is figure out what columns we want. We definitely don't need average time spent per minute, so I can get rid of that one. Um, if we want to, we can keep the company name, but for our purposes now I'm not going to. I don't need the contact owner for now because it's not really what I need in my report, and I don't need the um, created time either. I really want the ones that have the deals set to them. If I want to choose other fields that weren't part of that default, I can just go here to Edit Column, click on that, and then I will first see all of the fields related to the contact. And then if I go down, scroll down, I'll then see all the fields related to the deals. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some fields related to the um, related to the deal uh, since I really only need the name of the contact. Um, so I'm going to add, I added amount, I'm going to add stage, and I'm going to add closing date. And then I'm going to do done. And as you can see, those fields now appear. 
Now I can decide, are these fields in the order that I want them to be in? And I think I'm going to change stage above the mount, and I just have to hover over these three dots, and then I can move it there. And then uh, I'm going to also move closing date up, so amount is at the end. And as you can see, as I'm making these changes, you get a preview here in real time. And as it says here, you're only seeing a limited number of rows. Um, but as we, um, at, once we run the report, you'll be able to see everything more in more um, detail. So um, here's your basic report. And if I were to click Run now, I would see the whole report. I have 160 records, which is 160 contacts that I have here, and um, or or at, with the deals. And I could see that I have a mix of some with deals, some without deals. So now what I want to do is I want to filter and really only see the contacts that have deals. So I'm going to go back to edit and I'm going to add my filter. Now the filter is a little bit different than it used to be. You're going to always click on the plus for the add filter. And then similar to what you had um, in the old version, you have your date and then your advanced filters. I'm going to come to here and I'm going to start typing. I'm going to say deal name. I'm, I'm going to say is not empty, and I'm going to save that. So now I can see I see just a few um, a few smaller reports, I mean, a few smaller options. Now if I go back to the columns, I have these other options here: row groups, column groups, and aggregate columns. And as you can see, this contact Jim Jones has more than one deal. So if I want to, I can group by contact name by full name. And that way I don't see that full name over and over again. So I'm going to click full name under, and you, again, similar to the columns that you want to have, you can go through and add in a field from uh, any fields from the deals or the contacts to do your grouping by. I'm going to choose full name and I'm going to do done. And then I'm going to see this here. So now that I see this here, one thing that I know I don't need is that if I'm already grouping by full name, I don't really need the full name column anymore. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to get rid of that. And that'll just clean up and make the report a, a bit less busy. So that's the row groups. The other thing you can do is use column groups. Now column groups is the equivalent of matrix reports from the old type of reporting. I'm going to show you this illustratively now, but um, you know I'm not going to actually save the report based on this. So to add a column group similar to all the others, you're going to click the plus, and then you can um, choose what other factor you want. So in this case, I am going to choose um, deal name, and then you'll see I'm going to do done. And then what this is showing me is um, the deals and the deal name, I mean the, the names and the deal names, and how many of these contacts are associated with each deal name. And I'm actually going to change this now because I think once you get the idea of what this does, what makes more sense actually is to go by stage. I'm going to go by stage. And now you can see for each person, how many deals do they have in each stage? So you can see this first line has one in identified decision makers, and then it's counted here. Jim Jones has one in needs analysis, one in closed loss, so that's a total of two deals. Um, and, vice, and you can keep going like that. So this is a nice way to summarize your data based on the number of, um, based on, you know, some factor. In this case, we're looking at the matrix being the full names and how many deals do they have in each stage. For now, though, I am going to take away the um, column stage, a column group, and go back to more of just a traditional report. Now, what, what may be nice to see is to use the aggregate columns, and what we're going to do is try and sum up the amount um, as the aggregate column. So, like all the others, I'm going to press the plus, click on the plus, and then for contacts, I have another of op a number of options. 
and for the deals I have a number of options of what I can um, include here. So I'm going to keep it simple for now and I'm going to do sum of amount and then I'm going to do done. And now you can see similar to when we grouped the, uh, the um, full names I ended up taking that field away. We're going to want to do the same thing here because the amount is going to show up but then there's a new sum of amount column and that's going to show the amount and then the sum. And in this case, you can see here where it sums it and then the grand total. So again, to keep the report clean, I'm now going to get rid of the amount. And then we can see that this is um, a little bit of a cleaner report. Now that we've seen the way the, the report um, is, like we did before, you can do run and then that shows you um, exactly what the report is. The other thing you could do either from here, you can click save, or from in here, um, when you're in the edit mode, you can click save. When you click save, um, this is where you would name your report, and then you would assign it to a folder, and then you click save. Oops, there's one there already with that name, so I'm just going to add a one. And now you can see we have the report here. Once you've created the report, you have a few other things you can do here. You can um, create charts if you wanted to, and you could uh, you know, decide which y measure you want and which uh, x uh, axis you want, and it'll show you the options that are available to you. I'm just going to click Save, and this will just show you that we see the number of deals per person. You can edit the, the, the type of the, um, over here, you can edit the type of the chart and all of that, and you can delete it or add it to a dashboard, and you're done. Um, now if we open this report again, um, unlike before, where you have the edit here, you used to have buttons for some of the other things, but now if you click on this down arrow, that's where you can clone the report if you want to create another report. You can export or you can send an email. Now the export is slightly different than it used to be, so I'm going to click on export and show you what the different options are now. The first option is a formatted report. You can export the report with the current view um, for a maximum of 2,000 records. So in this case we know there's only five records. But if we had more than 2,000 records, we probably wouldn't want to use this format. And then you also have the option of uh, choosing the Excel, PDF, or CSV. Um, one thing that is frustrating to me is that it always uh, defaults to PDF, which to me is the least likely you'd be like tend to use. So then you would just choose um, Excel or CSV. The other option is a detailed report, and this will export the data, and you can do up to 50,000 rows of data. This used to be 20,000 in the old model, so it's nice that you now have the option to go up to 50,000. So anytime you're over 2,000 records, you do want to use the detailed report. Um, but the warning here is that it's going to export without the grouping of row column. Um, so given that I took out that the uh, the columns that could run into an issue. So knowing how many um, how many column I mean how many data fields you have, you may want to think about adding back in. In this case, it was the amount columns as well as the um, full name columns. Um, but then you have your choice of Excel or CSV. In the past, when you were doing a report like this, you only had the option of CX CSV. But now you can just click export and then you can export your report. Uh, so this is how you go about creating reports with the new Zoho CRM reporting capabilities. As you can see, it's a lot more intuitive. Uh, it gives you a lot more to look at while you're doing the report and it is nice that you can see everything as it's being created in real time without having to save it first and, and see and then make your changes. If you have any questions, please, please feel free to contact us at uh, support at marksgroup.net and we'd be glad to um, help you in any way we can. Thank you.